It's the biggest show in town. The SAG Awards brought out all the famous faces and fabulous fashions. Yves Saint Laurent. It's uh, Alexander McQueen. We got this dress at the last minute. I'm wearing Cavalli and Chapard jewelry, very fancy. From the bold to the beautiful, we break down all the style hits and misses from the red carpet. It's uh, Monique Lillier. I think it might be my most favorite dress I've ever worn. I like the dress just because it doesn't have a big long train like I usually do. Plus all the details behind the hair, the heels, and the high-priced jewels. We are wearing Marquesa and Lorraine Schwartz jewelry. The Screen Actors Guild Awards red carpet fashion wrap starts now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our SAG Awards Fashion Wrap. I'm your go-to guy style, Lawrence Zarian, and I, like you at home, couldn't be more excited to talk about Sunday's celebrity stop. But first, say hello to my favorite crew of fashion all-stars. They've got the inside stories and behind-the-scenes dish you won't hear anywhere else. First up, you know him from Project Runway and TV Guides, the fashion team. Also, get this, he also sports the best facial manscaping in town, fashion designer Nick Varios. Oh, honey, the manscaping doesn't stop here. <laughs> okay, everybody, eyes up. <laughs> Next up, say hi to the star's secret weapon, and she's also a regular on the fashion team, the uber-talented and 70s chic today, Jen Raid. You look great, sweetheart. Thank you. you ready to talk about it? So ready, LZ. Ugh, that's what I on. LOV about. Why oh you? Also on board, he carries sharp scissors and a killer style. He's hairstylist to the stars, Kim Vo. Uh, Lawrence, ugly hair never sleeps. Ever, ever. <laughs> and last night it was alive and well. And last but certainly not least, please welcome a woman I have fallen head over heels in love for, shoe and style expert, Kara Birkenstock. Hey, how you did, doing? Did you bring it? I did, and I have to say, you look fabulous tonight. Well, let's start on a positive note, but you know what? <laughs> it's not about me. Now, just about 24 hours ago, Hollywood's best actors walked the red carpet at the 17th annual Screen Actors Guild Awards, hoping to walk away a winner. Of course, while they had their eyes on the prize, we kept ours on the fashion. And one word for the red carpet was H-O-T hot. And starting with hot, check out Eva Longoria as she takes the plunge and a hot off the Paris runway deep v-neck Georgie Hobeka gown with pleated draping. I have to say, they love this dress so much, they sent it to Eva, the only dress they sent out, and I think it looked really good on her. I thought it was very sexy. Nick? Yeah, I do. I like that she's still doing the Grecian draping. There's a little bit of a muffin top happening, but I still love this gown, and that she's not wearing something fitted and mermaid style. So I like the sort of Roman Grecian goddess look on her. I can't wait to hear what Jen Ray had to say, because as I'm saying how much I liked it, her eyes were doing something. What's going on in those <laughs> eyes, sweetheart? <laughs> I was just debating about it. You know, I was thinking about this a lot last night. I don't love it, and I don't hate it. There's aspects to it that I think are great, but I think there's almost like a little too much draping in the front. She's so petite that I feel like it, it just kind of hung a little too loose on her bust, even though it did have modesty panels on both sides, which I don't know if people saw, but yeah, it's okay. It's I, love that I love that term, modesty panels. All right, modesty now, panels, I love next up, going into Studio 54 or work on the red carpet is Leah Michelle as she brings oh, 70s inspired yes. glam to the red it. carpet yes. and a beaded Oscar de la Renta dress and Tiffany bracelets. And I've got two words. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's very 70s inspired. I thought it was very chic and God bless double stick tape oh, because God. that kept, oh, bless that that kept those glee kids in place. You know, the you... hair is amazing. I love this type of hair. It's casual, it's fine. I mean, it's it's age appropriate. I love it because it, lo it looks whimsical, but not too done. And weren't we happy to see her in not like a big dramatic? Absolutely, yeah. I love her something yeah. body huggy, right. right. showing finally. off her figure yes. finally. And it was just a really beautiful look all the way around. I, I love the flowing hair. This is one of my favorite looks that mm -hmm. I've seen her do because Absolutely. finally she was wearing the dress and the dress wasn't wearing her. Exactly. And it right. definitely has a very much a Bianca Jagger '70s Studio 54 feel. And look at that hair. I like you said you can whip it around. You know this whole this whole award season, it looks like everyone had sex right before they came to the award show. <laughs> oh my God. And, so, okay, everybody get a cigarette, fresh. take a deep hit. Oh. All right, next Here. time, someone that made me uh, think about a lot of things, the SAG Award winner, Natalie Portman, she came out as the white swan in an ivory strapless Cesaro gown and $2 million 
where the Tiffany and Company jewelry and wow. I was standing yes. wow. right there. Wow. This baby is glowing. And I love the fact that she did the white swan dress and then played off the black swan with that black Roger Vivier clutch. Mm -hmm. Stunning. Oh. Nick? What I like about this gown, you know, it's from Azaro, Vanessa Seward, an Argentine designer, and it's from spring 2010. So this was shown two years ago, and they reworked it for her. I love the crystals at the neckline. And this, this is a great example of how women who are pregnant don't have to go the tent route. They can still give you column and fitted and look elegant. I think this the is great. The hottest accessory on a red carpet is a bun in the oven. It's sexy, oh. celebrated, oh. embrace right. it. I'm wearing one this year. Yeah, it's <laughs> do it, just do it, Kim. All right. Fabulous. Now, not that I don't love my Armenians, Kim Kardashian and Marquesa oh. one shoulder dress with Where built in detailing start? and Lauren Schwartz jewels. I think she's beautiful, but oh. I think that dress was wearing her. Yes. It's me, not the right dress for I her. I look at this dress and I think Caesar's Palace waitress. Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. It's not. And I oh. love Kim. And it's a beautiful color with her dark hair. But it's just too much. Big earrings, too much on the shoulder, too much on the bust. It's just another one of those and you examples. Would and you would think that she could carry off anything. But obviously not because that dress is, it's all about the dress and not about her. I, you know, I, I you know. like it. I want to order something from her at Caesar yeah. Palace. <laughs> Kim, Kim, I need a Bloody we, Mary. No. I need two. Well, we need me to say something. Mary. You all are going to need a cocktail <laughs> after <laughs> Julie <laughs> Bowen <laughs> in a black deep v neck Catherine Malandrino pantsuit oh, yeah. with Neil Lane wow. jewels. And I just want to go, you're wow. going to the SAG Awards, not to the premiere of Casino. Whoa. Kara, no, what did no, you no. think? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. For any red carpet, though, it works for the SAGs. It's not <gasps> the Oscars. It's not the Globes. I know it's a pantsuit, it's a little risque, but she looks stunning and elegant, and she's showing off her toned arms. You know, the hair is very simple and refined. I just, I liked it on Kara her. Kara Birkenstock brought, Kara brought her lip today. Yeah. Jen? I love Kara oh. right now. I agree 100%. Why does everybody have this expectation like they have to wear a gown? I mean, it is the SAG Awards. It's a group of people that are actors that are all familiar with each other. It's a little bit more Yves Saint Laurent, a little that Trey Chic that she was saying. Her body, this woman has had three children. Look at her arms. Yeah, I yeah. Not all right, let's talk, feel, about, well, don't don't let's talk about what let's talk about missing okay. something. I just yeah, feel I, like I it's missing, it's missing a jacket. Uh, the I hair, really do. jacket. I think it's it's missing yeah. something. Let's, let's sure. clean yeah. and elegant. Yes, uh, well, I agree. Let's see if you agree with clean and elegant. Usually, <laughs> usually she's avant-garde, but January Jones went and hit the red carpet and Carolina Herrera in this oh, beautiful. Oh, uh, okay. Did you just say beautiful? I, I, I really, what, yeah, oh. black and gold lace gown. I really like okay, this let's, dress. Let's start that it wasn't I liked Versace. This, I like this dress. I like the belted. I like the period hair. I really thought it was a lovely look. Lawrence, I am Vietnamese and I love doilies, but I don't oh. love doilies as much. And January Jones does something. I don't know what she does. She goes either awful or great. Wow. The hair is, I had it in the 80s. I love that flip. It's like but she it, ripped a tablecloth straight off the dining room table and walked out the door. I you know she looks like a Ming vase. And yes. later on, mm. when we see Angie Harmon in her feather duster, yes. Angie can feather dust January's there dress. There you go. Yes. Wow, and you know what's so good? You know what? Speaking of feather dusters, Helena Bonham Carter. And get this, everybody, she's wearing matching shoes. Yay! And she said that she consulted a costume designer friend for this Aww. classic black and white ensemble. Aww. Now, she had a little help from a designer friend with the dress, but not so much help with the hair. Kim? Well, uh, you know what? I think her cell phone's in there. You know, the new accessory <laughs> is getting your hair and putting your purse or your cell phone in it. It's great. You know, I think she's single handedly bringing back the, the tail because I, she wears that on the side all the time. I don't get it, the bangs. I love her, I love her as an actress, but I just think the hair's crazy. Kara, yeah, the, sho the shoes matched. You know, Tell us, do you like the shoes? A huge improvement from the Globes, not just the shoes, everything from head to toe. I mean, the, the dress, I love the T-length because of course you can see the fabulous shoes, which are matching, a beautiful <laughs> satin platfo platform closed toe pump. You know, she actually looks great and she's so eccentric. Like, you gotta give her props for like oh, going out well, there. And, and the best news, the best dirt on her. You know, this is a Marc Jacobs dress and it's, a $6,000 dress that actually Frida Pinto wore two weeks ago at the wow. Hamptons Film Festival. And it didn't look so good on Frida, mm -hmm. and it Ooh. don't look so good on uh, Elena Bonham Carter, well, but the Marc Jacobs gown collection. Smell you, Nick Varios, with all that backstage dish. Oh my, my goodness. <laughs> with all that manscaping, where do you find time to find all of this? Oh. Now.
As far as the red carpet trends go, we saw a ton of strapless gowns and deep plunging necklines. But the look that really caught our attention yesterday had to be the belted gowns. Let's see who pulled it together, starting with SAG Award winner Claire Danes in a silver, black printed, strapless long Louis Vuitton silver back gown, and Fred Layton Jewels. Jen. I like this. I thought it had a very, the, the delicateness of the pattern. It was kind of fresh and fun. It's a pretty color for her. Claire's one of those people who can take risks and wear things with a little bit of edge, and I liked it. Wasn't sure about the pink lipstick, but otherwise loved it. I love the floral I, appliques. I, honestly, I think Claire was ready for the Picnic at SAG Awards because <laughs> it looked to me like something you'd wear like a summer dress. The hair was too simple. I, I, the fabric I saw, it was just very simple. The only thing that made it was actually the, you know, the top had a little bit of frill. Well, there's nothing simple about this color. Jennifer Lawrence packed a powerful pink punch in this Oscar de la Renta dress with Fred Layton jewels. Nick? I love this color, the Barbie pink, the bubblegum pink. I know that some, a lot of people might not. I didn't like the shoes, and I'm not so sure about that black velvet belt. On the runways, it was crystals. It was Swarovski crystal belt, uh, and I thought that that would have been nicer. That's what was missing. Yeah, that's Because I kept missing. saying, what is Kara, missing? Kara, if yeah. you could change that shoe, what shoe would you have put with that dress? You know, I actually like it. I like the combination and the contrast mm -hmm. with the black. I think with the belt, it adds, you know, it cinches in her waist. It adds that feminine bow, and it, it works with the ankle strap and the peep toe. If it did have the embellished, you uh, know, belt that you were missing. talking about. We were about, trying to what was missing. Yeah, then it would have looked nice with like a strappy, right. a sexy perfect. strappy. Well, let me I mean, tell you something. Nothing gorgeous. is missing, and this to me is a perfect look. Diana Agron in black Chanel T Lane Rose Couture dress with a black beaded satin closed toe Ferragamo pump. This? I thought it was effortless, it was elegant. I loved Everything. Take it away, Jen Ray. Loved it. Oh, yes. God. hold on. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Daddy's what? coming in for a kiss. Oh. What? Okay. What? Okay. I'm kiss We're back. I'm, <laughs> it's, a long, it's a long show. Oh. It's a long show. <laughs> Love it. This is one of the best dresses on the red carpet. It's I love that she did something T length mm -hmm. and it's you know Chanel right. on couture. She's really making her mark as a young actress, you know, on the red carpet. I love it. Beautiful hair. Did and you it's, love it's the hair? Beautiful. It's, it's very hard to wear this. I mean it really is. Mm -hmm. It's age appropriate. You know, you can't be too old, can't be too young. It's stunning. She stunning. looks amazing. And she All said right. she never felt girlier, and I think she just looks beautiful and feminine. So like a sweet. little princess. Yes. She is. Well, how do you think Mila Kunis was feeling in her Alexander McQueen dress oh. by New? Head designer Ooh, Sarah Burton oh. and a Cartier Tiger bangle. Ooh. Let me just say this there was a lot of stuff going on with choosing this dress, and she said she felt very comfortable. Oh. Nick? You know, I love this dress. When I saw it in the lookbook for Alexander McQueen, I love it. However, it didn't have the belt. Right. And I kind of like it without the belt. But I could just see her going, oh, it makes me look bad, makes me look pregnant. And so she cinched it. And yes, it's on trend in that it draws everybody's eyes to the waist. I love this dress. I, I really do. Absolutely love. I love this. Oh, this is good. Love, love, love. I think, love. no way. I think it's a little bit like Carrie, where the blood goes all over. But I love the feel. Uh, the hair is fabulous. But you know what's funny? When that blood spilled on Carrie, it was yes. red. So let's go to this next. This is what you call a segue. <laughs> Not only was Mila Kunis in one of Sunday's hottest trends, she was also sporting Sunday's most popular shade. When we come back, see who else was drop red gorgeous. <laughs> Plus, our vote for a fresh face on the red carpet. We'll have you shouting out with glee and later see who made our best dress list and who missed it by a long shot when fashion rap <laughs> continues. Who doesn't love fame and fortune? Hey, everybody, welcome back to the SAG Awards Fashion Wrap. I'm still Laurent Zarian, surrounded by my fantastic friends who aren't afraid to tell it like they see it. And right now, we're all seeing red because it was by far the most prominent color on yesterday's red carpet. See for yourself. First up, I think looking a lot better is Tina Fey and Oscar de la Renta with lace embroidered overlay. Jen Raid, call it. Wow. Can we just one? Yes. Bravo, oh. Tina! Finally! Yes. Yes. This was such a huge improvement for her in oh. every way. Better dress, better hair. I feel like she's get, just getting more comfortable on the red carpet and taking more risks, and it, it really shows. I feel as if 
She's watching the fashion wraps I and hearing our too. tips She's taking and notes. taking notes so from us. Here's the, it's like, I think that Helena Bonham Carter should take note because I, if you're not into fashion, let the experts do yes. you. Guide right. you. Just yeah. guide you, do you, done. work, you know, I just do it, just embrace done. it. And embrace I think you it. have to embrace yeah. it, yes. All right, this, <laughs> this one, oh my God, fashion wrap after dark, this one. <laughs> Who does it always right for me is Juliana Margulies and Yves oh. Saint Laurent. Not only did she win me over on the red carpet, but she won another SAG award, making that eight in total. And I have to say, my wow. friend Gloria Witherspoon does her hair in New York at the Oscar Blondie Salon and does such a great job. I love I this look. I love the hair. I love the part. I love how simple it is. I love how it goes with the dress. It's that power ponytail we talk about. There was a big trend towards ponytails. Power ponytails. Oh, yeah. really a lot of people wearing ponytails. It's a hot trend. This was one of my favorite looks of the whole night. It was effortless. You know, it didn't look like she spent too much time and she just looks amazing. I love the sweetheart neckline. The red is just powerful and bold. Mm. Just beautiful. Yeah, with her raven hair mm -hmm. and her creamy skin. It's classic. Yes. With a face yes. like that, oh. really, you This is a much. Juliana Margulies love fest. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, are we gorgeous. in love with Katrina Bowden in an A-line dress fastened with some serious bling at the waist? Nick? You know, she's young. I like the strapless. I like the asymmetry of it. You know, I just thought that she could have gone a little more with this. So just what would you have more. done? What would you have done? Well, I think just a stronger bottom. I like the strapless. I like the brooch there. But just a more, more a, a stronger bottom. Kim, Sorry. Okay, Kim, Sorry. Kim, Kim, Sorry, Kim, Kim, Sorry. Kim. Sorry. Now, Sorry, Kim, I'm here just... we have Christine Baranski. <laughs> Do you like Christine Baranski in this red gown? <laughs> I, love, I think baby. it's age appropriate. I think it's fabulous. I think it's tailored. She looks great. The hair's a little bit dynasty for me. I think that she's an amazing person, but I think she has to modernize her hair a little bit. The dress is fabulous. And I you know what? She has, you know, it's a little fashion forward, but she's got that confidence. She does. It's yes. so fantastic when a woman pulls her shoulders back. And Carol, what do you think about that trend with the black shoe with all these dresses? I'm liking it, actually. It's very strong and it's sophisticated. You know, a lot of people would go with the muted metallics or a new or something, but the black is just sexy and confident. I'm really liking the Would contrast. Would you say it's that, like, red dress, black shoe? Yeah. Sexy. Yeah. Love it. There you go. <laughs> now, somebody, now, somebody who hasn't said much, I'm dying to hear what our Jen Ray thinks about Valerie Bertinelli. She's starring in Red Hot. She's starring in Hot in Cleveland, and she's red hot in this dress. What do you think? I like it. You know, she's, it's simple. There's not, it's not crazy. There's not too much going on. She didn't do a necklace. I like the little dip in the back. I mean, seriously, she looks fabulous. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, love, she's not she 25, looks amazing. She seriously looks 25. 25 times, I too. Love you know, I love the right. hair. I love everything about it. I mean, yeah, she it's really so is, soft and easy. It's soft. It's, uh, it's that sex hair that we talk about. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Right Boy, out of bed, Hollywood honey. was definitely yeah. having a lot to, yeah. You know what, yesterday. <laughs> now, as you know, color trends, they come and they go, but skin is always in. On Sunday's red carpet, we were impressed with all of the beautiful, flawless skin and fresh faces. But one star in particular really stood out. Let's take a look at last night's Fresh Face, brought to you by Max Clarity. It's, wait for it, Heather Morris, looking polished and perfect in a champagne-colored crystal embroidered bodice by Ramon Caviza. The rest of her look is fresh and fabulous, too, with the nude nails and soft, natural makeup. You like this, Jen? I like it, and I think what really makes it qualify as fresh is that the makeup and everything is so light. It's really just about skin and things kind of blending in with her skin. She just looks just very light and elegant and young, and her stylist, Kara Welch, is just amazing and I think does a really great job with her. The dress looks perfect with uh, her skin, the gorgeous, makeup. Gorgeous. I love that new dress and the little bit of crystals in it and the detail up here. I think she just looks glorious. She could just be, you know, coming down the stairs, Absolutely. waiting for a handsome man and like and you, Elsie. And, yes. <laughs> and that, stru that part, it's perfect. She's perfect. It's all perfect. So as you can see, we're all definitely singing the praises of this Greek Glee beauty. Now coming up, full frontal fashion. We'll keep you, uh, we'll keep you abreast of the latest styles. And later, Julie Bowen, Kira Sedgwick, and Amy Adams find out which sexy starlet won our vote for best body when fashion rep continues. Hey, beautiful people, welcome back. 
to the best part of every award show. That's us, the fashion wrap. And we're talking about yesterday's SAG Awards, and ironically enough, we saw very little SAG. Now, whether you're busty or not, finding the most flattering desk can be, well, as you know, quite challenging. And our next montage features the best tips in town from A to D. Let's start with the best tips in town, Sofia Vergara. And nothing was sagging here in this electric blue Roberto Cavalli fitted V-neck dress with Chopard jewelry. Now, usually she sticks to her other designer, Carolina Herrera. Right. So I was surprised to see her in Cavalli, and I thought it was a nice transition. You know, Lawrence, it's really interesting. When you have hair, when you have boobalicious in the front, you got to have the <laughs> hair that actually goes in front so it doesn't really draw too much attention. The second you wear it back, it's really going to just show the girls off, the twins. So I think it's a perfect <laughs> hairstyle for her. And so for her, women... Her body... Oh, banging. I mean, Amazing. first of all, Amazing. she is, I love it. I mean, her shape, but she probably has not taken a breath since like two o'clock in the afternoon. Right. She is She's not eating since 1999 either, inch honey. I love her. Life. So for women that are boobalicious, yes. always wear the hair forward. Absolutely, because right. you're gonna really bounce. kind of balance it out. You're not once you put it back, the girls are in front and you'll That's only see that. See. That's right. all you'll see. Well, somebody else that, that walked aren't? the girls out on the red carpet <laughs> is Christina Hendricks and a black V-neck shimmering oh. long sleeve Lorenz Scott gown. And when I saw this look, I thought, I wanna know what Nick Varios thinks about <laughs> oh, this look. Oh well, oh. again, I saw the original original look and it's a plunging it goes right to the waist so they lifted it up a little bit now this is a nice v-neck for ladies that are enhanced like miss christina there's a little bit of a 1975 valley of the dolls look to her hair and the makeup so she does look like she's popping a couple pills honey she's bedazzling <laughs> her snuggy or smuggy whatever that is and wearing it she's from the pills right to the red carpet yeah. right? what whatever it is she should have been in the matrix flying yeah. through the matrix with keanu reeves in this smoking Jacket. I'm sorry, it was just too much fabric. It was heavy, it was overwhelming, and it just didn't appeal to me. At Go, Kara Burns. Wow. Look and stop yeah. playing it. Yeah. Playing it. Wow. All right. Right. <laughs> okay, now, now, I, I can't now see. Okay, let me let me hear what you think about <laughs> Angie Harmon in this oh. cotton candy oh, oh, princess oh, gown, oh, feathered oh, Monique Lillier strapless oh. dress. Okay, shh. Oh. Jen Ray, yes. take it away. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, seriously, she does look like Big Bird's gay brother. Thank right? you. Oh. Thank you. Thank so, you. No. Who I dated. Seriously, first of all, it looks, it is, listen, I am all for everybody trying anything, and I applaud every one of these women for getting out there and even doing this. This is a major stressful event for people. But this dress is too young, too frilly, too feathery. I don't know how many birds had to be, you know, murdered for this yeah. thing. She literally looks like it should be like Beauty and the Beast, the Lion, the Witch, yeah, of the no, I'm addicted. Mary can sing it. I'm, I'm waiting for the 14 Chambalans to be really, following her. It's really pick not me, pick me, wait, hold on, pick me, pick me, pick me. Okay, I just want to say this. I just want to say this. She's my, she is my, she is my querida because I love her because she said out of 35 dresses, that was the first dress she tried on. Whether you like it or not, hold on. She felt like she was getting married again. Whether you like it or not, she felt beautiful. And I, you know, if you feel great, who cares what we think? If she felt great, that's all that mattered. Somebody that okay. always okay. makes me feel. All right. now, somebody, <laughs> now, somebody that always makes me feel warm and tingly inside. And she can close the deal, as Kira Sedgwick, oh. in a black, form fitting, strapless, vintage Terry Mugler dress. I loved this look from top to bottom. Thank loved God. it. I yes. love it. Now, from hem to it. hair, I love it. I love that sexy hair. The last time we saw her in the Golden Globe, she really looked like it was just disheveled. Now this is much more sexy. The texture is great. The curls are more redefined. I see Kevin Bacon in the back doing Footloose. It's oh, like yes. they just <laughs> great. They yes. just went in the limo. Sure. It's Sultry a great look. It's sexy. It's a great she look. Never, I love the black. I mean, she gets mm -hmm. it right every time. Every single time. Mm -hmm. she and understands. somebody that's getting it right now more times than not is Jane Krakowski, and she's heavenly pregnant in a oh, one-shoulder oh, silver secret. <laughs> Badgley, Michigan dress, and I will say this: they flew this dress to India, had it baited, and it got here late on Saturday night. So the fact that she even made it in this dress was a good sign. What do you think about the nude shoe? For being in her third trimester, she looks fantastic. Stunning. Stunning. And of course, she always pulls it out with the beautiful nude pump. Her legs look fab, tan, and yeah. toned, and just great. gorgeous. Yeah. She looks Highlight. fabulous so, even if she wasn't pregnant. And she actually. And this is a perfect dress, ladies. Listen up. When you're pregnant, and I know that you're conscious of the sisters, and especially they get a little bigger too. So you can 
can do a one shoulder so the eye doesn't go up here Absolutely. like you are just milking yes. it. Right. Yes. You know, so I'm this literally. is a perfect, <laughs> milky, perfect. I love milking You know, it. hello, I love hello. And, the, and the hair is perfect in the yes. sense that so it just saw. Yes. Oh. The color is great. She's glowing. great. Perfect Thank hair. God I love it. Glowing. Love it. We're all taking prenatal Everybody. vitamins. And she did, you know, Jane did tweet yesterday, thank God for the fashion wrap because now I'm looking better on the red. Now, oh. kidding. Okay, those were some great pairs, but the best pair, the best pairs are coming up as we check out Sunday night's hottest celebrity couples on the red. Plus more red carpet highlights leading up to our infamous best and worst dress list. Keep it right here on TV Guide. Hello again, I'm Lauren Zarian. Now, as you know, the SAG Awards honor the actors' best work on screen, while we, my dream team, honor their best work on the red carpet. <laughs> Let's continue the love fest right now with a look at Sunday's most celebrated pairs. First up, Nicole Kidman and country hubby Keith Urban. Nicole is in a navy blue Nina Ricci gown with lace inserts and Fred Layton jewels, and a face says it all, Jen Raid. <laughs> 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 What is that? Oh, my goodness. Okay. It's a no for me. I'm sorry. Is it it's just so much kind of frilliness going on up here. And then on top of that, to put a necklace with a bunch of flowers, it's just too much. I don't understand it. I just don't. Kim. Uh, you know what? I think talking about the hair, it just really is kind of drab. Like she was a drowned rat. I really <laughs> wish. No, I'm being honest. I, I, he's so gorgeous. They're both gorgeous couples. It's just they didn't look. Like they I matched. think it looks like she fell down the rabbit hole and yeah. she was grabbing oh. a whole bunch of stuff on the way but, down, grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. But you know, Kim, notice that his hair has a little more weight. Thank you. I yes, think, we all I said that. Oh, yeah. I think he listened he to us. I think he listened to us. I think he listened to us. Yeah, well, you know whose great. hair looks a lot better from the last time we saw her from Golden Globes is Annette Benning. You know, she had her hair oh, forward. Yes, At yes. the SAG Awards, she pulled it back, and oh. she looked beautiful. When she hit that red carpet next to movie star hubby, Annette Benning and Warren Beatty, I thought, looked great yeah, together. Truly oh, Hollywood yeah. royalty. Just amazing together. She looks fantastic in this metallic gown with the beautiful embellishments, and he just so handsome and debonair, you know? And don't you agree, Kim? She pulled yes. her hair back. I know that, that hair color is a gorgeous hair color with her skin tone. It's got her skin is pink, so she needs a little bit of red, a little bit of auburn. It's tied back. Now, a lot of women, gorgeous. though, now a lot of women, Kim, as they get older, pull their hair forward to camouflage. Right. She pulled her hair back. What's the, what's the yay or nay? Absolutely. You know, you want to pull it back depending what you wear, but you want to pull it back to really show off features. Right. When you go in the fore, it's too closing. You know, it just closes you off and it's not very And positive. also the older you get, the lighter the makeup should be. Absolutely. So she did it all right. She did it all right. And someone that's doing it right, getting all the awards, is SAG winner Christian Bale and his wife, Sibby. Oh. He looked handsome. She looked very pretty. I like them together, Nick. Like yeah, I do. Yeah. I, I mean, I know that I'm not a fan of all that beard and the shoes. Look, at, not, it. Look at those shoes. God, the I'm shoes. Not. I know, because I have what? a beard, but that's too much beard and it's the shoes—it's not, oh. not manscaped, manscaped enough for me. Exactly. But the, the shoes is my problem. He looks like he's straight been, version. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you. Well, let's go. But he it's looks all. like he's been burying someone. Well, let's go. Hey, it's you know like, what? I have an idea. Let's go to our shoe expert. Hey, Kara. Yes, straight off the construction site or something. Thank it was you. like oh, just God. like the contrast is too much. It's, he forgot to so put on shoes. So pick the perfect shoe. A beautiful leather round toe, you know, to elongate the leg. Um, just. Simple black. Well, what is this? I don't know. I don't know. I do no wrong. You know, it's a Gucci suit. Yeah, I, I mean, said it looks fitted. It looks everyone made fit. love before yes. they came there, and he forgot yes. to shoes. All right? And yeah. they forgot yeah. to and they, they forgot, forgot to invite us. I All right. <laughs> Steve Carell and his wife Nancy. You know what? They have so much fun on the red carpet, and I love that old Hollywood bow tie. I love her in the red, and they together. I was watching them have the best time. The best time. They look perfect together. It's like a photo. His suit is Canali. He looks very polished. I love the old school tie, the bow tie. And they're sort of matching, which I love. Mm -hmm. They're sort of matching each other and in a good, complimentary way. Yes. And you know, we've been talking about men's tuxedos. That is a tuxedo that will never go out of style. Oh, no. So every man should make invest, an investment invest, on a good buy, tuxedo. Buy. Buy. No renting. That is so 22 year old. You're in college. When you get out of college, <laughs> buy a tuxedo. Yeah, because the reality is you might have four weddings to go to, and, you're, and by the time you've rented it, you might as well have just bought the tux already. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know? Oh, my Four goodness, divorces. look at us. Whatever fashion, it is. Fashion you know? tips and money saving right here on Fashion Wrap. <laughs> Jeff Bridges and his wife, Susan.
Once again, a couple having fun, and I do like the facial hair, and I like that thick hair that he has. I like them together. I'm sorry, oh, the dude can no. do no wrong nothing, for me. The, I am all about the dude. I love the dude. Everything <clears throat> he does, it's perfection. I have a mecca in my house built to Jeff Bridges, <laughs> well, and I just bow to it. Respecting the actor, but not the outfit. I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> I, I think he's like a maestro. I think he needs a whip. I think he needs oh, a little oh, thing oh, to actually. Oh, I just oh, think. Oh, <laughs> I whip it over wow. here. I love. The act, but I think the outfit to me, I did not like the tuxedo at all. I think he looks like a sexy Grizzly Adams, and I love you. Oh, yeah, that's what you know. I just want you to know. I Jeff Bridges has a voodoo doll of you right now. Absolutely, I better be right. cute and blonde, honey. Still <laughs> ahead, the stars are letting loose and getting down as we're talking hairstyles of the rich and famous next. Plus, if the camera adds 10 pounds, how do you explain these fabulous figures? Our vote for best body when fashion rap returns. Welcome back, everyone. Hey, I can see you've accessorized, and you know what? You're looking good. <laughs> Today, we're talking red carpet fashion from Sunday night's SAG Awards. And once again, I'm LZ with my panel of fashion know it alls Nick Varios, <laughs> Jen Raid, Kim Vo, and Kara Birkenstock. <laughs> Ready, kids? Let's keep going. Ooh, my kids. Now, right now, we're putting the gowns aside because, quite frankly, without the perfect hair, the perfect outfit falls flat. And we'll be using our razor sharp oh. tongues to cut through some of the celebrity hair, starting with Mariska Hargitay and Isaac Mizrahi. Take it away, Kim. You know, I would have loved to see a little bit more volume in it. Uh, right now, in the, it's the 90s looks that's really in with all the flowing gowns. It's really more volume, a lot of, you know, Claudia Schiffer, Cindy Crawford. I would have loved to see a little bit more of that, but not obviously over the top. So, you know, I love, she's gorgeous. I think a little bit of height on top and a little bit of a bend. Uh oh, mama's making a face. Mama's Jen Ray. Making a face. <laughs> it's a little promy, right? It. <laughs> it looks promish. It, I have a problem with taffeta. I mean, I'm just going to lay that out there for everybody. <laughs> taffeta is tough, and it's, it's a no for me on this dress as well. It's too Crayola. I'm thinking it's very uh, Barney. She's just so beautiful, though. I think she could wear a paper sack and look amazing. I mean, she she's did. truly but I think we've established yeah, she that actually she cannot. <laughs> 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 Sorry. All right, let's go from powerful purple to nude. Hillary Swank in a nude one shoulder Versace gown with embroidered neckline and Martin Katz jewels. Love the hair, love the dress. I wish the dress was a different color. It's a little pale for me. Nick? I have to agree, Miss LZ. <laughs> yes, I do. I think I would have loved to see a little more color. Like that same a lilac, like Mariska yes. Hargitay, would have looked more good. Vibrant. A little more vibrant. And the hair, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. It's a little undone for me. Jen? I'm sorry, and I hope Kim agrees with me. I think the hair is beautiful. Isn't I think it? that Hillary Swank tends to go a little bit hard and edgy, I and agree. I think this is yes. so soft, soft and soft feminine. And beautiful color for her. I'm, Great waist. Her body. Oh, it's Great. And she's got the hot look, the ombre look, which is really light on the ends. It's sun kissed. It's beautiful. And you're right. We just see her so harsh sometimes. Yep. It's great to see her soft and so feminine. Gorgeous. Okay, that's too, whatever. Okay. Uh, okay, whatever. I, I, I don't know. La, 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 la. Okay. Here we have Rosario Dawson in a sorbet shade. Jay Mandel belt the dress, Emerald Drop earrings, and Christian Louboutin heels. Take it away, Kara. I love everything about this except for the Louboutin heels, actually. I think that they oh, oh. were a little too clunky and heavy for the look. I'm loving the citron kind of like sorbet yellow dress. It looks great on her skin, but the shoes I wasn't feeling. I don't know. I was so what type of shoe would you have done? Just a little bit more nude or even like a strappy yeah. metallic yeah. that just showed off her skin. I don't know. I, I, I totally disagree. Senior, I feel like senior. so many stylists yeah. would have done, oh, it's a lightweight dress. Let's do a little strappy shoe, but it's actually more cutting edge and fashion Forward to do something with some heft and some chunk to it. But you know what? It's the, we, there's so many platforms right now on the red carpet. The closed toe, very heavy platform, which I'm so over, I think. Like, it's it's time to just go back to the feminine, sexy shoe. Oh, this is also fascinating. Oh, yes. This is also fascinating. I, I see like a mud match. Going You're going to get to a mud match. All right. 
Hallie Steinfeld in a black fuchsia pink and orange block. Oh, Let's just say so sweet little so Haley. So cute. Lots of color. What did so you think? So cute. You know, so this was uh, the original Prada dress was short. Right. And so this was made especially for her. I love oh. the colors. And it's all the colors that are hot right exactly. now. The orange, right. that pink. fuchsia pink, right. and then the black. All in one dress. It's perfect for her. And here's this. It fits perfectly. Okay, no. can I just say I love this dress. There are pretty much none people that could actually get away with wearing it except her. Right. Like if Helen, right, if Helen Mirren wore this dress, oh, we would be saying something yes. entirely different. Yeah. She also has the same stylist, Kara Welch, who also did Heather Morris from Glee. And it's just so fun and fresh and edgy, and I just love, love it. it. I love the hair. It's mm -hmm. so age appropriate. It's split down the middle, just softly tousled. She looks great. A little pinata for me, I'll be honest with you, with the dress. But she's 14, and I, I, I like it. really works for me. Now, you know, when we do this, there's always one celebrity that makes me want us to all grab uh -oh. hands. Can we all uh -oh. grab hands? Oh, here we go. Who is all right, here we go. Who could this be? Winona Y. Ryder oh. in a white strapless Alberta Ferretti gown. Oh. I, I don't understand. Oh. This was your moment. Oh. You, you know no. what? You could have come back to that red carpet looking stunning. No, but, but you look like a squashed sausage I, in that and, dress and, and, and her face, with the and hair and the. She looks so and she looks bad. uncomfortable. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. First of all, I would love as a stylist. I would love to work with her. Her skin is oh. so flawless. She's got a great body. But to me, this just looks like a runaway. Bride. You know what, Jen? Absolutely. I've got to tell you something. I know everybody, so I'm going to call one of those people. <laughs> I'm going to hook the two of you up, and the next time we're on Fashion Rep, you're going to do a fashion intervention. Why does she oh, have those eyes? Have and she's like popping her eyes. Like it's the same look she had when yes. she got caught at Saks. I got it. Oh, 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 okay. I mean, okay. Oh, oh there's that look. Okay. So she's like, oh, sorry. Because she can hear us. Okay, kids. Oh, no, look, <laughs> she can hear what we're saying. Oh. But now we go from the head to the toes for a look at the entire package. With so many beautiful bods parading around, choosing the most flawless figure on the red carpet was nearly impossible. But guess what? We did it. Let's take a look at last night's best body, brought to you by Moose Temptations by Cello. The one that gets our vote is Amy Adams, just had a baby, but look at this rocking body. And here she is showing off her curves in a chic ivory, vintage inspired Hervé LaRue halter strap gown with pleated draping. Needless to say, we are enchanted by Amy Adams' banging body after baby. Banging wow. Bang. body. Oh, and, and that powerful she, ponytail. I love the power ponytail. Not all ponytails are created equal. She's got it right where she needs it for that dress. It's actually perfectly placed in the back, sleek, chic, and she looks amazing. And this white is so hard to wear, you know, yes. because it really can show everything, but with a body like that, it was wow. perfect. And you know, I have to say, if I had to pick my favorite dream team, this is us, right? Because we are fashion. <laughs> Aww. experts. But yesterday on the red carpet, we asked you to be a fashion expert by going to tvguide.com and choosing your best dressed star. Well, kids, in the lead so far is Sarah Hyland with the highest percentage oh, of hit no. votes. But oh. there's still time for you to vote for your hits and misses. Love her, Up next, find out if your picks match ours as we reveal our best and worst dress list. Hold your breath and stay tuned because we're coming back. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. It is the moment you've been waiting for, our best and worst dress list. Starting with best dressed man. Nick, take it away. Justin Timberlake and Simon Spur. I love the tie, love the suit. Hunky. Jen, who was hunky for you? John Hamm, impeccably fit. All right, Kim, who did you like? Christian Bale, I love the black, minus the shoes. I just thought it was so tailored and sophisticated. Kara? My madman, John Ham, super <laughs> sexy and sophisticated. You and Jen are having yeah. a ham sandwich. Yeah. And for me, I picked John Krasinski and navy blue, navy blue Prada from head to toe. I loved it. Now, moving on to best dressed woman, Nick. Annette who was Benning. Oh, nice. She just takes the trophy. Look at her. Stunning. A woman who just commands attention. Hollywood glamour. Best dressed woman, Jen. As usual, I had a hard time making a decision, so I chose two people Mila Kunis, 
just beautiful Alexander McQueen and Diana Agron for being sweet, chic, and sexy. All right, I love that. When you have two like that, go for it. Kim, for you? <laughs> Leah Michelle, I just love how fresh and flowing and just sexy the hair and the outfit. Gorgeous. Kara? Mila Kunis, definitely sexy boho siren. <laughs> love the fiery red, super hot. And for me, I loved me my Juliana Margulies in YSL. Oh. Now that was the goodness, right? And now for <laughs> the bad, starting with the men. Nick, for you? Jesse Tyler Ferguson, funny guy. His suit doesn't need to be funny. <laughs> Jen, for you? <laughs> I did not pick a worse dress guy. Oh. I feel like all the guys really turned it out, and I was impressed. Kim? Jeff Bridges. Didn't like the jacket, but love the actor. Okay, love that. Kara? Kevin McHale. The uh, flower pocket square <laughs> speaks for itself. You just want to cut that up, and for me, yeah, I drank the generate punch, and for me, I had no one on my list. Oh. And that brings us to our picks for worst dressed woman, Nick. Oh, honey, Winona Ryder. She looks like she should be on the top of a tres leches cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The moment, Jen, for you. I love this actress, but I chose Jane Lynch. Too much taffeta. Too much taffeta. Say no to taffeta. Okay, Say for no. you, worst dress, Kim. January Jones, I want my curtains back. <laughs> wow, okay. Ooh. And Kara, for you. Christina Hendricks. She's got to go fly into the Matrix in this. Hate it. Boy, Matt, for this looking for me, I hate to say it. Nicole Kidman, for me, could have done a lot better. Not the choice I would have made. And I have some more bad news. Guess what that is? That's a fashion wrap. Woo! I had a terrific time, as always. And I want to thank you very much for watching us. And I want to thank my friends here on the fashion panel. And we'll see you again on the red carpet in just two weeks as TV Guide celebrates music's, music's, music's biggest night at the Grammys. So get ready to rock, style, and roll. <laughs> Take care, everybody. We'll see you very soon. So for the Grammys, I'll see you. Before you watch Oscar on ABC, watch TV Guide Network for Academy Awards Red Carpet with Chris Harrison, Sunday, February 27th, 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific.